So number one says here in our diagram, or here's a diagram of a straight edge and compass construction. C is the center of one circle. So let me get that drawn on here so we can look at it. So C is the center of this circle. B is the center of the other circle. So the circle starts in the center. Okay, that orange circle is centered at B. Explain why the lengths of BD, so let's get that on there. So explain why the lengths of BD and AB are the same length. So why are those green segments the same length? And um, so that would be because these green segments here are both um, centered at B or they start at B and they go to the orange circle. So they are both radii. So let me write this out. So they are both um, radii, which is the plural of radius um, of circle B. So they are equal in length. So we know that any radius in the same circle, since the circle is the set of all points equidistant from a center. So that means that those two segments would be identical in length. Okay, so Claire used a compass and a straight edge to make a circle with a radius that is the same length as AB. So let's highlight AB on here. So here's segment AB. This circle um, has the same radius as AB. So let me get that circle drawn in in orange as well. So any radius of this circle is going to be the same length as AB. So let's take a look at these options and see which one is a true statement. So this first one says that AB, so this segment here is greater than CD. So this AB is bigger than CD. And let me just highlight CD here. So here is CD. Now CD is within the circle. So D is on the interior of the circle. C is the center. So we know if this segment went out to the center, or sorry, out to the edge of the circle, it would be the same size as AB because it would be a radius. Well, D is not as far as the edge of the circle. So this purple segment is smaller, meaning this orange segment AB is in fact bigger than CD. So this would be a true statement. So anytime the, the true statement comes first, I like to look at the others just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Um, so the next one says that A, B, and C, D are the same size, which they're not since C, D is not a radius. Okay, so that's definitely false. Then it says that um, A, B is greater than the segment C, E. So let's take a look at C, E. So C, E extends past the circle. So it's the center to the outside of the circle. So that green segment is definitely larger than the orange segment. Or another way to say that is that the orange segment is smaller, smaller than the green segment. So this is false. Then it also says that AB is equal to CE, which it's not since CE is not a radius. So we are good with our initial answer of A. Number three says that this diagram was constructed using a straight edge and a compass, points A, B, um, C. So A, B, C, D, and E are all on this line segment, um, C, D here. So all on this segment. Name a line segment that is half the length of C, D. Well, when we look at this, we see a bunch of radii here. So A, C is the radius of circle A. And so is AB. So let me draw this circle in purple so we can see that. So those two segments are a radius of this purple seg purple circle. And then if we look at this middle circle that starts at B, um, that has a radius of BA, um, we would then know that BA and BE are the same. So since AC is the same as AB, AB is the same as BE, they're all the same. 
And then um, we could add in this last circle here has a center at um, E and we could do a radius of EB. So then we know that EB is the same length as ED, which is also a radius. So we know that this segment is the same as BE. So all four of those little segments are the same. So if we wanted to name one that's half the length of CD, CD is the whole thing. It's, it's um, composed of four of these little segments. So as long as you just choose a segment that's two of these littler ones long. So you could say CB because that's two segments long. You could say AE or you could say BD. Each of those are composed of two of these little radii, so they would be half the length of CD. Number four, this diagram was constructed with a straight edge and a compass tools as well. A is the center of one circle, so let's get that circle. So here's A, or circle A. <clears throat> and then we have another circle, which is centered at C. So the two circles here intersect at um, point B. So they're showing us point B here. So let's highlight that. So here's point B. Um, label the other intersection as E. So let me label this one as E. An intersection is where the two circles cross. How does the length of CE, okay, so let's draw in the segments that we're comparing. So we're looking at C to E. How does this compare to the length of AD? So we can kind of see that they're using this orange circle only. So C is the center of that orange circle, remember. So AC and CD and CE are all radii. So this is a radius, this is a radius, and this is the radius. So those are all the same length. So CE is half the length of AD. Since AD is two radii long um, and CE is only one radius. <clears throat> 